Hi, I'm Pete from Goodland Wood Co. This is my first video. It's also my entry to the Rockler Hobby Challenge. This is my Nikon FE2. I use this one more than any of my other cameras. So when I first got this, I figured let's make it my own. I made these little guys, they're hot shoe covers, so they just cover up this little connection here for flashes. And then lens caps. So this one I just glued on to a plastic lens cap. I'll do some more like that, show how I did it. I've also got some of their old you know, UV filters. Another thing that's kind of annoying about these compact SLRs is their grip width. So if you see on the right hand side of the camera here where your hand grips, there's not a lot to grab onto. So we're gonna make some wooden grips there as well. Or the scrap pile. Got everything labeled here and I'm just gonna start cutting some stuff up. All right, so I have most of these cut up. There's one I wanna do something kind of crazy with. I wanna to try to make an aperture of a camera. This is just a kind of a prototype to figure out if my angles were correct. And then I'd have to get another piece of wood for the center. No, that's good. I'll try to get it with this lighter piece of walnut. All right, I'm gonna start gluing these up. I love my type on, so I'm gonna use that. I'm just gonna use the tape method because these don't have to be that strong. I found a pretty good way with these to mark them to make sure the center is actually in a hexagon. So I'm just getting all these nice and squared up. I'm just gonna take a block. On the inside, you can just barely cover up each of those lines. This one's gonna be tricky. So I have a lot of pieces of tape lined up off camera here that I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna put a little bit of glue on all these since I'm doing end grain, give it a chance to absorb before I actually wanna make my final connection. Give that a minute. Then I'll put a little bit more on before I actually make the joint. See how much is absorbed already in the last like 10 seconds. Time to mark out all of these and then we'll start cutting them up and then we'll sand them to get them more round and make sure they fit. Nice line in there. I'll go back and hit it with pencil to be safe. Oh! of hand cutting to get them close. This is a super advanced belt sander.
Got lots of sanding to do with an aptly named Sober Carpenter, non-alcoholic craft brew. How cool is that? The most useful thing I've ever made. Don't want dust in that bad boy. cramping. Somehow I've got a, I think I got a paper cut. I don't want to bleed on the wood, so I was trying to use my left hand. I'm not ambidextrous. Glass is fogging. I'm a mess, but we got them sanded. Right, it's time to recut this chunk of walnut, and I'm gonna use it for the bottoms that go underneath the camera for both of the hand grips, because I have to attach from the bottom in the tripod screw. I'm trying this two different ways because I've never done it before. So one will have an aluminum plate and less wood. The other one's gonna be a bigger chunk of wood. I don't have a bandsaw, so I'm gonna be recutting out here. I'm gonna take a few passes and hopefully I don't burn the crap out of this thing. Got one of the outlines of what I'm gonna cut on this piece of aluminum, I got off McMaster, it's like three bucks or something. And then similarly for the other one that I'm doing without aluminum, I've got that on this thicker piece of walnut. I was pretty tired of that hacksaw. have the walnut match the aluminum, but I realized I was about to take off a ton of material, so I think I should try to take off as much material as possible beforehand and then just do the last pass with the router. While I'm at it, I'll do the same for this guy. cut a notch out in the back for the film release so you can actually take your film out. So the way this is gonna connect to the camera is through this hole right here that connects to the tripod mount screw. There's gonna be a wooden handle that comes up here that's actually the grip. And that's gonna be attached with two screws. And then I'm gonna have three screws in addition to the Gorilla Glue that's gonna hold this wood and aluminum together. Oh, that was dumb. That's not the one I need to countersink. <laughs> it's the bottom of the wood. It's okay, it'll get hidden. I'm gonna drill a couple holes and I'm actually gonna tap them at the same time. This is a drilling and tapping bit, which is kind of crazy. I've never used this before. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna swap to a drill so I can go slower. That's a thread. There we go. I have this quarter 20 standoff. This'll be what mounts into the camera. If I wanna use a tripod with this mount on, I still can by going into this thread. I need to shorten the thread. And then I'm gonna shorten the body and take off the hexes here. And then I'm gonna make a notch in it so I can use a large screwdriver or a coin to put it in.
cleaning up these small screws as well because I kind of crunched them in the vise. This thing looks like crap on the camera. Found this old quarter 20 screw. I need to clean it up, I need to shorten it. I also need a hole for it. I need a counterboard hole so that this head can sit inside. I've made a drastic mistake. Once again, I did this on the wrong side. <laughs> it's supposed to be on this side. It should still be okay. I think I can still drill it out. So here's the button that I have to hit in there. Seems like it'll work. I thought I would do something neat here on the front and I think it looks awful, so I'm just gonna cut all this. Wooden one. I don't have the same metal standoff to be able to attach a tripod, I'm going to install, wow, this threaded insert, quarter 20 threads on the inside and like a knife edge thread on the outside. I've used these a lot in past projects. I found the ones that have the knife edge works really well, especially in the hardwood. I got a set here that has an installation tool and then the exact size drill bit. I'm gonna just go for it. Normally I'll do a test one, um, but I feel pretty good about this walnut. I think I'm a little tilted, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Just gotta trim off this uh, dowel that I put in here to fix my drilling on the wrong side. Good as new. Two chunks. Anything that I'm gonna touch, especially that I want it to be super smooth, take just like a wet paper towel, wet rag, and just get it wet before I do one last run through on some fine grit sandpaper. All those wood fibers kind of stick out and then you can get it really, really smooth, which I don't know, if you're gonna hold it in your hand, I think just makes a huge difference in how it feels. It's gonna be really important that I get these holes in the right spot. I'm just gonna do a test run here, the same distance from the edges to make sure I'm getting the right drill size for these threads that it's not gonna wanna crack. I'm feeling the wood bulge a little bit. That's telling me that that's too tight in a thin piece of wood. So we'll increase the drill size. Yeah, that's the way to go. I'm really happy that I tested it and I'm not gonna ruin this thing that I've spent hours making. I'm gonna trim this corner off so you can actually see the FE2. It's also gonna cut off the part at the top where there's some Gorilla Glue. So for the grip on this guy, I'm just gonna glue it right on. There's this little lever, which is my mechanical timer. If I wind this guy, right, I need it to be able to pass through here. Maybe I should have done this before. I'm gonna see what I can figure out. I'm gonna clamp it in here next to a piece of the same height. I'm just gonna use Gorilla Glue because Gorilla Glue is a strong dab the bottom of my wood. The wet paper towel there. The same on here. 
Got a bunch of stuff we're gonna brand and wood burn. Old Fuji, Zeiss, Helios, Minolta, Fun Sangs, Goodland Wood Co. brand. Film is fun. At least I think it is. things here that I want to do for these cameras is make some hot shoe covers. Just cut these into some short chunks and they'll be done. Can you tell this is the finishing table? I'm going to use this simple finish, which is fitting because it's from the guys of the Modern Maker Podcast, where else the guys making this challenge along with Rockler. First time, I'm very excited. We're all finished up. These are looking pretty cool. This is the one where I glued the small handle on. Definitely makes me feel more comfortable holding this with one hand. This logo is on the inside of the lens, looking pretty good. Got the little cap replaced up here with some walnut, super stoked about that. Matching logo, pretty cool. And this is the camera that started all of my uh, collection. This is my grandpa's camera, fun little camera. I wrapped this in the leather a while back, so the lighter colors complement it pretty well. I'm really excited about how this turned out. Definitely a nod to the mechanism behind the camera if anyone notices it. The branded one, that's fun. Can't mess with walnut. Film is fun, and I like the wood burning. The plastic cap itself was kinda meh. Another classic maple, the Beast. This is a medium format film camera, so I had to go with the classic, the old Fuji logo, the solid wood handle. This feels good with one hand. Never would've been able to do that before. Feels pretty good. I didn't have as much room to work with here uh, because of this dial for the timer. I wish the top had a little relief here, so maybe I'll go do that at some point. And again, this one I have a separate insert that I put in to be able to attach a tripod, and then the screw the mouse to the camera is over here. I'm very happy with how, especially the profile turned out. This handle grip feels awesome. I love that I cut off this part right here. You know, I did it so you could see the FE2, but it's also a great spot for my finger. Bottom of this is just very clean in my opinion. And I can still attach a tripod right through the same standoff that I used to attach the mount itself. This handle grip feels awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you're still watching this, thank you so much for watching this entire video. It's been a huge challenge to film and edit, but an awesome one. I'm super excited to use these accessories and I hope it was fun to watch me make them. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. It'll help me share more projects with you in the future. Rockler Hobby Challenge! Rockler Hobby Challenge! Rockler Hobby Challenge!